Hello, uh, my name is James Reynolds. I'm a director at a firm called Bridgepoint. Uh, we're a private equity firm uh, that operates all around Europe and, and the US, and I'm part of the investment team there. Um, so first question, um, I, I got the job uh, back in 2007. Um, I started out as an intern, actually, during my MBA, which is a master's in, in business administration, which I was studying for at London Business School. Uh, so I spent the summer of 2007 with Bridgepoint um, working on a project and then went through the full-time interview process at the end of that summer and, um, and was offered my full-time job starting in 2008. Uh, next topic, my typical day. Um, so in general, um, I guess it's helpful to know what it is we're trying to do before talking about my, uh, my typical day. Um, in general, what we're trying to do is invest in businesses all around Europe and, and the US. Um, and for me, I spend most of my time focused on the technology sector and the financial services sector. Um, the great thing about the job is that what this means is that there is no typical day. They're, they're really, really varied. Um, but to give you a little bit more of an idea, my days will often include speaking to consultants, to investment bankers, uh, to industry experts to try to understand particular companies or the sectors that they operate in better, uh, speaking to the CEOs and the management teams of all of those businesses that we might be interested to invest in. Um, and then as we get into more detail, reviewing uh, you know, detailed information on all of those businesses, debating those opportunities internally with colleagues. Um, and as we continue to progress, we then need to get the buy-in of the, the broader firm and our investment committee. And so we need to pull together investment committee papers, uh, which take a huge amount of effort uh, as a team internally. And so we spend time, time doing that. Um, we also spend a lot of time, once we're really working actively on an opportunity, uh, working with or well, managing large teams of advisors to do the due diligence for us. Um, due diligence is basically the detailed assessment of uh, whether we think a company is um, is going to be an attractive investment for us. So working out whether it's in an attractive market, looking at the financials, the tax situation, the operations, marketing, uh, the legal uh, aspects of it, um, and there's many other topics as well. Finally, once we've worked out that this is a business that we really want to buy, we um, will get into negotiating the deal. Uh, so valuing the business, but also uh, negotiating the terms of the transaction with uh, with the seller and with the management team. And finally, documenting all of that in legal documentation uh, before signing a transaction. But at that point, the, the, the job really only starts for us because the whole objective of what we're trying to do is to create value in the companies that we invest in. And so when we sign a new transaction, we're then looking ahead four or five or more years to try to uh, increase the size of that business and therefore the value of that business. And so the, the job of portfolio management begins, um, which also can take up a lot of my uh, daily time, which is being involved uh, in the board meetings of those businesses, um, participating in discussion at the at a board level with the CEO of the business and, and other shareholders or um, or directors on anything that goes to to value uh, bolt on acquisitions um, you know big projects cost reduction um, projects things like that um, we will get involved in uh, in debating with the board and then finally as we get towards the end of our investment horizon I'll get involved in planning the exit of that investment appointing an advisor to help us with that, and then managing the exit process as well. My most memorable moment, um, very hard to give you one. Um, th there are lots of memorable moments, but I would say nothing gets the adrenaline going, like going to final investment committee, getting approval, and then running off to a lawyer's office to try and sign a transaction and, and close it out. Um, you know, often in the middle of the night, um, but. Uh, you know, it's a, th these are really intense uh, moments, but very, very exciting um, and generally followed by uh, a good night out with uh, the team and all of the advisors who've been helping us. The worst part of my job, probably uh, the long hours. Um, it varies, of course, but when, 
when you're really in the detail of um, doing the doing the due diligence on a potential investment, uh, the hours can be very very long, seven days a week, um, but not forever. Just for a, for a, a few weeks um, as we close in on that final bid deadline um, and trying to sign the deal. Um, but it can at times make uh, you know life outside of work quite hard to plan. But for me, it's more than offset by the best part of my job, which, as I mentioned early, earlier, is the variety. Um, and for me, it's that variety and the constant mental stimulation of always looking at uh, a range of different businesses in different sectors with different challenges facing all of them um, and completely different interpersonal uh, dynamics with the management teams. That's what keeps life interesting for me. And that's the bit that I enjoy the most. My advice for anyone wanting to get into private equity is, first of all, uh, study hard and get into the best university that you can. And then start your career by training in investment banking or consulting. Uh, that's man management or strategy consulting. Um, though, I suppose the first point to make is we don't recruit typically straight out of university. So you need to get your training somewhere else. Um, and investment bank investment bankers or consultants are typically the uh, people that we look to first, although we do recruit from some other backgrounds as well. And then in interviews, um, there's three main things that we're really looking for. One is your your intellect and the speed of, of your thinking. Uh, you need to really show that you, you get new concepts quickly. Second thing is being really structured and logical. And the third thing, which I think you can train for and um, uh, perhaps prepare more for in advance, is to show a real passion for business and for investing as well. Finally, um, a few uh, tips for anyone wanting to get into uh, the private equity world. Have a look on the website of the BVCA, which is the British Venture Capital Association. They've got a great guide to private equity. Uh, it's worth a read of that. Um, there's loads of other free resources. If you were to Google LBO case study, uh, so LBO stands for leveraged buyout, which is often the structure that we use when we're buying out a business. Uh, so Google LBO case study, and there'll be loads of resources for financial modeling of LBOs um, and uh, other case studies of LBOs that have succeeded or failed. Um, <clears throat> and there's a variety of books about private equity as well. Um, none, to be honest, I don't think any of them give a perfect flavour of what it's like to work in the industry. But there is there's one really well known one, uh, which is called Barbarians at the Gate, which is about the um, takeover of a business called RJR Nabisco back in the late 1980s. Uh, it's an entertaining read. The industry is not like that anymore, but it gives a flavour of some of the concept that um, that we deal with day to day and um, some of the some of what it's like to work in private equity but bear in mind that it's it, life has changed completely since the 1980s so that's it good luck everyone bye